Why do we create? Why do some of us feel the urge to repair something instead of buying it and throwing it away once it breaks? Some of us feel it more than others. For some, it's just a fleeting thought they never act upon. It's like a momentary breeze in their mind that blows around an idea into the air, but they never even notice it for what it was. What's the point when I can just buy a new one, they think? But for some of us, it's pinned to the board of our minds and stays there until we act upon it. We wonder, can we do it? I don't know why, but I have always had the urge to create or try to repair something. It was always there for as long as I can remember. I recall as a kid, we lived in a small town out in the country, in the middle of nowhere, trees in every direction. The next house was miles away. We were always outside getting into some kind of mischief. We had no choice, you know. Back then, uh, yeah, no, back then, sound like an old man. But back then we were told to stay outside until they called us in for dinner or whatever. The property had a few old rundown storage buildings. I remember walking around one day and and I found an old rusty knife in the dirt, handle broken. First thing that came to mind was, I think I could fix it. So I took a shot at it, as best as I could muster being a kid with no skills. I cleaned the blade, used whatever tools I could find, and I made a new handle. It wasn't great, but I was super proud of it. I don't know what happened to that knife. I wish I still had it. Along the way, I tinkered whenever the chance presented itself. Years later, my mom bought a VCR when we were teenagers. And we thought it was the coolest thing ever. That would be a video cassette recorder for you younger people if you were listening out there in YouTube land. Sometimes it wouldn't work right and would grab the tape and get it all in knots. So I convinced my mom to let me take it apart and try to fix it. How much worse could I make it right? It was already jammed and of no use. Miraculously, I was able to disassemble it, unscramble the tape, and re-roll it back. It worked. Now we could watch the Goonies again. I joined the military not long after I graduated, and I didn't do anything like that for a long time. It wasn't until I had kids that I returned to it, but it wasn't because I missed it. I honestly hadn't thought about it for years. One weekend when our daughter was around six or seven years old, we took her and her younger brother to SeaWorld. We had a good time and we headed back home. Out of the blue she mentions how some of the kids were wearing a wooden card whale tail on a necklace. She had wanted one but she never mentioned it. By then it was too late and we were hours away. That got stuck in my mind and stayed there. A few days later I said I figured I would try to make one out of some scrap wood I had found at work. So I, I attempted to carve one out with tools made for working metal because that's what I had. It actually came out pretty pretty good. I gave it to her. She's now 22 and we still have it on the shelf with maybe a, a couple of dog bites from our German Shepherd. That reminded me how good it felt to create when I was a kid. So I continued on that path. I tried my hand at everything I was interested in, metal, leather, wood, and I haven't stopped. There are so many projects that I want to try and make. I'm still trying to get better every day. I honestly think it's in all humans. That is why we have what we have now. The need to create. Some have it stronger than others, and those are the ones that actually act on it. When we overcome a problem, 
we have what scientists call the aha moment. And our brain rewards us with a rush of endorphins. I think it also helps us recharge by escaping from everyday problems. I don't know about you, but I can spend around eight hours in my shop on the weekends. For me, everything goes away for a moment in time. But why do the others choose not to not to even when they have that urge fear of failure I think we all have that maybe they don't get the same feeling that others do after it's done I don't know but if you have it embrace it, develop it and share it with whoever you can teach someone if you can if your kids have it, encourage them to explore it and not be afraid to fail at it because it's going to happen accept it Easy to say, I know. But the more you do it, the easier it gets. I'd rather live a life where I can add value to society and not just take it. Hopefully, things I make and send out into the world will be good enough for a long time after I'm gone.